Hey guys, so um, today's vlogmas video has literally abruptly been cut short. Um, I did vlog a lot today, but um, in light of recent things that have transpired, I decided to just not include that footage. I did kind of to, um, to speak on the situation earlier, but I decided, like I didn't want the situation to be tied into my vlog footage because um, I just know people were going to completely ignore what I'm vlogging about and only worry about this part of the video. So I decided, you know, let me just sit down because after this video is out and up, I want to leave this video and this situation in the past because like I told you guys a few days ago, I'm taking a step back from my relationship. I know a lot of you guys were wondering like, well, why are you still wearing this, the promise ring? Um, and you know, I'm even wearing it on my engagement finger and I'm actually not because you all see the opposite side of me um, when I'm vlogging but this promise ring you guys this is not a promise ring the promise was broken so this is just jewelry to me and I like the ring in general so that's just honestly why I'm still wearing it it's not like I'm holding on to the promise because Jeremy already know he broke that promise um, and betrayed me in that in that matter um, but I wanted to come and sit and discuss exactly what had transpired in these last few days because there's a lot of misconception going on and at this point no response is not going to be good on my end although i have been advised from you know my manager and my friends and my family keisha you're dealing with enough like you don't need to stress yourself out more to come and make videos and answer questions and stuff like that at the end of the day i know that um, ultimately whatever is posted on this platform has to go through me because this my name is on this platform so I can make all executive calls and I've made a I made a decision that I'm going to speak on this situation so that I can indefinitely move on and continue to heal I'm dealing with postpartum I've told you guys that um, I just told you guys that a few videos ago I've you know told you guys intermittently between other videos but I'm dealing with that, so it's, it's like really hard for me to have to continue to speak out about negativity because it's honestly very triggering for any um, woman out there who has been through postpartum knows like how hard it is, um, and it's very, very hard. It's even worse when you're dealing with something so heavy in your life. So before I speak on that specific situation, I want to first address the book and it's the down video because had those two things never happened we probably wouldn't be here probably not most likely not um and when me and jeremy decided um that we were going to write a book and find some type of way inside of the book to reveal to everyone that he did father a child outside of our relationship to be honest, you guys, I was seven and a half months pregnant when I found out that he actually was the father of his son. And for any woman, any woman who's ever brought life into this world, just imagine at seven and a half months finding out affirmatively that your significant other fathers another child. And also imagine going through an entire pregnancy with no concrete answers about whether or not he does or does not father the child. Just trying to hope and pray things work out in your favor, but still not really knowing. But, you know, just trying to figure out how you're going to just make the best out of the situation because you're pregnant. Your baby is going to sense all of your emotions and get all of your energy and then also being a mother. And then put on top of that being a social media influencer. So for me, I feel as though like, regardless if we told now or a year or two from now, people were gonna have questions. People were gonna, under, like, there there was never gonna be a point where we could have told this story and people were gonna be like, okay, thanks for telling us. It was gonna be how, what, when, where, why, like what's going on. And I felt as though, in my heart, I felt as though the later we prolonged telling the truth, the more people would question our integrity and our character because it was going to be like in, in their eyes like so you try to hold a you tried to hide a whole child from us 
or you didn't value this child's life enough to speak up and say that he existed like what kind of people are you that's how i felt maybe i'm wrong um maybe i was just too emotional and too in my head and just feeling like well i just feel like i have to give these people an explanation because how they're gonna look at me and you know me portray one thing on the internet and then people find out later down the road i also was thinking like i i'm not a beauty guru i'm not a gamer i'm not a prank channel like i'm a whole vlogger and i vlog monday through friday so it was going to be kind of hard to even though we never um decided we were going to include him in the vlogs like just put him out there it was going to be kind of hard to just continuously have to edit around his belongings being in the house him being in the house just all of that so like i said we decided that we would share um share our truth and, and say that now i will apologize because it was in poor taste because it's kind of like if you're going to tell the truth it's easy to the whole truth of the situation or no truth at all but on my end i will say this once me and jeremy decided we were going to and we had started writing the book we put a pause on the book because i was waiting for them to actually do a test and they didn't do a test until like i said i was seven and a half months pregnant so we kind of pretty much had our story and it was in limbo because i'm like well okay well i don't want to put anything out and then it comes out that you're not the father then we just did all this stuff just to waste our time and then now we got to follow up and say you know it's just gonna be too much so we tried to wait um and i did sit down with her and let her know out of my own mouth like hey since you're involved in this situation like you know like i have a huge social media platform like i'm just gonna be respectful enough to let you know we do plan on writing a book we are writing the book right now if there's anything you want to say at take away or anything like that you let me know or you have a conversation with jeremy about it and then you know we'll figure it out if you feel like your voice want to be heard we kind of sort of talked about whether or not she was going to be in our sit down video um just so you know you know she can be included with her version of the story and answer questions I decided against her being in the sit down video because I felt and I, I'm just gonna be honest I felt like people were gonna look at me like girl you gotta be kidding me so you telling me that your man did this and now you sitting down here laughing and giggling with another woman and your your your, your boyfriend did this to you like I don't get like this is a joke to us so I felt as though like okay well let's just not put her into the situation um but I, like i said i definitely did let her know i removed the video because after going back i feel like it was done in poor taste and we should have definitely thought a lot harder about trying to save our face and her feelings once she saw the situation or people try to um like tell her like oh they painted you in this picture or whatever it is because regardless if it was one night five nights ten nights or 50 nights at the end of the day a child was created and there's no need for us to go back and try to it, all of that is unnecessary it's kind of like me it's just kind of like let's take steps forward from the situation so that's why i said you know i didn't owe anybody an explanation about the in-betweens of everything um so i decided to you know go ahead and remove the video off of you know my platform and after that i also decided to remove jeremy off of my platform because he was the common denominator with a lot of the problems obviously so it's just kind of like you know like i'm not gonna let my brand go crashing down because of the things that we're going through behind the scenes so i definitely want to first apologize to um my supporters i want to apologize to myself i want to apologize to all individuals involved with the situation because everyone's feelings are valid and I'm pretty sure, I'm, I can't speak for everyone 100%, but I'm pretty sure between me, like, because at the end of the day, me, her, and Jeremy don't have a confusion about what happened. We've all talked. Like, we 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 all on the same accord about exactly what happened. It's just a matter of when you're on social media, is how much of your business are you trying to share and tell to other people who, who don't really matter? And that's where I had to learn my lesson because it's kind of like there's a thin line with being real and being honest and oversharing and, and over explaining yourself and i learned the hard way and unfortunately it was to my demise because i got a lot of backlash once a lot of people tried to go i still honestly don't know how she was even found or any of that but i got a lot of backlash once people went to her and tried to get her upset and, and stir the pot with her and like i said up until that point me and her 
despite what, 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 what went down, like me and her had found some common ground. We saw eye to eye with this is what happened. This is what we're going to do to move forward type of thing. Like that's the only thing we can do. And at that point it was kind of diminished when, when, when outside people tried to come in and stir the pot and, you know, whisper this into her ear or say this or say that. And it was just completely unnecessary. And like I said, this is my platform, so I got to take ownership for it. Hell, no one will be talking about the situation had it not been attached to my name. So that's what I want to say first. Now, fast forward after, um, you know, people found her and, you know, were in her ear trying to get her hyped and upset and, you know, make up stuff. Because in the book, I never said anything about the situation at all at all the only thing i said in regards to him having a child was the fact that i found out it was 100 percent confirmed that he had a child when i was seven and a half months pregnant which is 100 percent true i didn't find out um the test didn't come back until two weeks before i was to deliver my daughter um and even within that i still put on my big girl panties and said you know what i'm gonna still do right by this innocent child and you know i'm not gonna make it hard for either one of them to co-parent and you know everyone met and like i said every like i tried because i know everyone was both both of them were looking at it like okay we know we did this to hurt her but you know like like we're still willing to try to go at her pace everyone honestly everybody respected that and respected the fact that i'm pregnant um and i was already stressed enough dealing with it so that was that but that type of stuff should have just been left have been left off the internet um, and like I said, fast forward, once everybody got into her ear, blah, 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 then it just switched. It changed gears completely. Um, it was a lot of negativity. Um, me, I'm the type of person where y'all don't see me make subliminals on my story. I try not to even repost certain things on my story if I feel like people are going to think I'm talking about certain things. When in all honesty, I just may just like the quote or whatever. Um, I'm the type of person I like to just go directly to the source and deal with the source and, and, and let that be that. But... Like I said, I have been trying to process my grief. And once postpartum snuck up on me, it literally like just stopped me in my tracks because I could not, I couldn't handle it. And I missed a lot of days of Key Um, I let myself down. I was very hard on myself for missing days, but I, I had to deal with what I had to deal with. And it was becoming unbearable for me. It was becoming unbearable because I never want to get to a point where People over the internet can dictate what goes on in my household or can have a say-so and how other people look at me, especially people who know me and who have met me and I have showed them nothing but genuine love. So that that was how I was starting to feel overwhelmed by the situation. Um, and once I saw Jeremy was moved and it still wasn't really, like I still was getting tied to the situation, it was just triggering me even more because it's kind of like, okay, I've removed Jeremy. Said I'm not going to talk about the situation. I took down a video. It's kind of like, okay, wh like, what is the big deal with trying to provoke someone else to, to, to publicly, like, have to continuously talk about our personal business? But like I said, that's exactly why I take 100% accountability. If I could go back in time, maybe, well, I don't know about the book per se, because like I said, the only thing, I only said one sentence in the book, but maybe even with the sit-down video, I could have went back um i know the day before we filmed the sit down video i did reach out and, and told her like um you know it's a lot of backlash going on with the book blah 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 we got to, we're going to be filming it, the sit down video but like i said this was more so you know jeremy's situation to kind of sort of men so i was just trying to be able to do my part as much as the best of my ability and like i said i had just get, now i had just given birth and it's kind of like i'm over here trying to be superwoman and be a mom and be a businesswoman and I got brands in my ear I got friends in my ear I got family in my ear I'm trying to you know deal with Jeremy I'm trying to just deal with so much stuff and it's kind of like I wore myself thin like I wore myself thin and I started to feel very sick um and very drained and um last week at some point one of my vlogs I know someone had reached out and start coming out of my videos and people were already DMing me about it but I didn't really know because uh, I didn't I didn't click the link I just saw the I just saw the video pop up and immediately I just saw my name in the video but I didn't click the video so I just thought the worst like oh she went on live she must have been talking crazy about me whatever it may be I don't I don't 
a part of me thought that, but then a part of me knew better. Because, to be honest, I'm pretty sure if she decides to make her video, I'm pretty sure she'll be able to tell you there's honestly nothing she could have said. Because I've never done anything other than put the book out and give the okay for a sit down video. And, you know, that could have... I, well, I know for a fact it rubbed her the wrong way, so of course she could be disappointed and upset about that. But as far as like me to her and the relationship we had in that short period of time, like I know for a fact like it wasn't like she was gonna come on and just be bashing me. So I was just a little annoyed by a lot of people just sending it to me because it's kind of like you're trying to stir the pot, and that's exactly why I said like I've learned being an influencer that these people like a lot of people who are watching is just for their entertainment they don't care about you they don't care your tears that you are crying they don't know they don't care what you have to go through in your real life with the people you really love and care about they don't care about any of that they just trying to laugh and you know get their fix for their group message tea or whatever and, and spread it around so anyways after the after everybody kept sending me the video then people started sending me the comment section under that video and I was completely shocked and I broke down and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I even wrote I read I even reached out to the person who made the video because I just feel it's it's and to, when, when I reached out she ended up telling me like she was a mom and blah 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 and it's just kind of like how would I would never I would never have a video like this video for instance I'm about to talk about Brit in a few seconds but let's just let's just say okay well, I'm talking about Brit in this video and you guys decided the whole comment section is now like, and did y'all see her son? Blah blah blah. And then you know her twin, da da da, da and like just talking god awful about her kid. Either A, I'm gonna delete all of those comments, or B, I'm gonna go block their names because I don't need no one talking negatively about other people's children. Or C, I'm gonna make up like pin a comment saying, Hey, regardless of what you guys feel about the adults, whatever your personal feelings may be, do not come for the kids. So that's why I reached out because I'm going to advocate for my kids regardless. Um, I don't have to come forward on YouTube to complain or vent. Like I can go to someone as a woman and say, look, I am bothered because you are, you are, you have a platform and you're allowing people to, you, yeah, you can't control what other people say, but when you keep those type of comments, you're condoning that behavior of people speaking ill. And I even told her like, if people don't like me, that's their personal preference or opinion. But when it comes to my children, like, I just would ask for you to just please not, not allow people to just bash my kids. Especially to the extent that they were saying, I don't even want to repeat it because it's going to really get me emotional. But I broke down in the moments of me seeing those comments and people were sending me the comments like, hi, hi, look what people are saying. People were texting my business phone. People were calling my business phone, calling my kids out of their name. Like, sometimes I'm scared to answer my business phone at this point because people are so nasty and ruthless. People are putting my kids on memes of the comments that were said in the video and sending it to me. And it's just like, I'm already going through the postpartum. It's kind of like, now you're just adding unnecessary drama and stress to me that you don't have to. Like, why would you, kids should be off limits. So, after that, after I read those comments and I was very hurt um, about the situation, um, you know, of course, my friends, my family, they see stuff too. People send it to them too because they feel like they want to have my friends send it to me or whatever it may be um and I've also recently asked my friends hey if you see something please don't send it my way because I'm already going through a lot right now so I I, I can't like just don't even just don't even bring it to my attention because it's just too much unless it's just absolutely like something I have to go and handle like I can't deal with it so my friends have respected that and um when now this is how Britt got into into the situation so me and Britt were talking about, you know, the video. Um, I can't remember if she watched it or not. I think she did, but it doesn't even matter. I know she read the comments and, you know, saw people going in on me. And she was like, I'm sick and tired of these people going in on you. Like, they don't even know, you know, the whole story. Like, why do these people keep trying to make it seem like it's your fault? Like, these people, like, and I saw comments with my own two eyes that people sent to me and were saying, um, but when people were trying to defend me, like, hey, well, you know, this is Jeremy's fault because he shouldn't have blah, 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 blah. And people were like, no, this is Keisha's fault. She deserves it. She asked for it. Blah, blah, blah. It was just like, are you serious? So, you know, Britt was venting to me, like, I can't stand this. Like, I've seen you um, struggling through this situation and trying to move on and try to heal from it. You know, I know everything for the most part um, of what you tell me. And, like, this just hurts me to see my friend hurt. 
and I'm, you know, at this point, I'm, like, expressing to her, like, like, you know, I'm going through postpartum right now. Like, I can't take this. I'm, I'm crying out to my friend, telling her, like, I can't take this. Like, this is too much. It's becoming unbearable. Like, I can't even function because every day when I say, okay, it's going to be a good, positive day, I'm being constantly reminded and, and drugged through the mud about this situation. And... You know, she was like, I just wish I can defend you. Like, I just wish I go on my platform and tell people, leave you alone. Stop talking ish about you. Stop talking about your kids. Like, I'm her friend. Like, I know everything that went down. So stop trying to make it seem like it was Keisha's fault. And I was like, you know what, Britt? That's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, defend me. Please tell these people, leave me alone. At this point, I know they keep trying to figure out whether or not this is a one-night stand, a two-night stand, or whatever stand that, like it's supposed to have been um, to give them some peace of mind or... You know, be able to say, aha, we caught you on a lie, Keisha, or, uh, or whatever it may have been to still take away from the fact that this was something that was terribly done to me. Um, because it just seems like that's just going over everyone's head. The principle of the situation is like I was pregnant and this was a very unfortunate situation. Um, and I felt like I, I handled it as respectfully to both of them involved as best as I possibly could. And, you know, yes, I 100% take accountability. I did tell Britt it was 100% okay to, to defend me um, and take up for me. And I also told her, I said, but you know what? Be mindful um, of what you say, Britt, because at the end of the day, whatever you say on your video, you know they're going to go back and send it to her or try to manipulate your words or try to put it in, you know, say, you know, you try to comfort her or you said crazy stuff about her and I said then you don't want that you don't want her to get triggered you don't want her to get upset you don't want her to have to make a video defending herself like so I would if I were you I would just refrain from even talking about her I just wouldn't talk about her at all you know just please just defend me just have my back and because I really need it I'm like I'm like really I'm going through it right now like I'm really I really just need somebody in my corner and Obviously, nobody probably wanted to hear from Jeremy because y'all y'all already know what's going on with that. So I just feel like some of my, my, my best friend who you guys respect and watch and enjoy her channel, like I thought like, of course she, she should be able to defend me. So when the video came out, I did not watch the video. I saw the video and the particular day that the video came out, I was heavy in my postpartum. Um, I actually had counseling like 30 minutes after I woke up. And I was, I was already like hysterical that morning. Like I just woke up very hysterical. And I remember clicking the video and I saw it was 58 minutes. And I was like, 58 minutes? This is a long video. And I was like, well, you know, my friend must have defended the crap out of me. But I got off of it and went, you know, into counseling and was trying to, you know, process my emotions and, you know, doing all sorts of doing my counseling session when I saw people, you know, like, why would you have your friend come and defend you, blah, 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 blah. And I just thought, thought people were upset because she was telling y'all to leave me alone because I didn't see the video. And I'm like, yes, I did tell her to defend me. What's the problem? Like, why all y'all can make videos and say what y'all want to say negatively about me, but someone who knows me personally can't do that. And I thought she had great intentions to defend me, which I still do to this day. It's just bad communication, bad situation altogether. But anyways, um, yeah, so I was, I was dealing with what I was dealing with. And then my friends actually started texting my phone like, hey, Keisha, did you see this? And I'm like, oh, no, this is pretty defending me. She said she was going to defend me, tell people to leave me alone, blah, 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 blah. And they were like, well... I actually watched the video and it didn't look like that to me and I'm like well what you mean and it, like I'm getting calls I'm getting texts I'm getting everybody want to chime in and tell me their personal opinion then I'm starting to see even more comments coming in and I'm like well, what is going on with this video but like I said I know what mentally I can handle um and being a mom I have to put my children first and I just knew like mentally I was not going to be able to handle the things that were being told to me that were being said in the video I just like, I can't believe this. Like, I just know that this isn't being said. And then immediately, you know, I'm like reaching out, calling, texting, like, hey, what exactly did you say in the video? Because what I'm being told, I know you didn't say these things. And, you know, I didn't get a call or a text back or anything. So, and that, and that wasn't like her. So I was like, what's going on? Like, did she throw me under the bus? Like, what's going on? And, and that by that point, you know, people had called Jeremy and let him know, like, hey, X, Y, and Z. And then, you know, like, now I'm overwhelmed. Now I'm up in here crying. I had to take Jory literally to um, her helmet appointment, her follow-up helmet appointment. And I'm literally, like, hysterical in here. My mom's trying to help me. And I'm just like, I just know, like, this isn't, you know, this is not what was said. Or, you know, she didn't make a video, like, 
telling all of my personal business so it was just like a lot for me but i just wanted to hear from my friend before listening to anybody else this is my friend just someone i trust let me talk to her and hear what she's saying will say it start hearing different stories about um what she should have done with her body in regards to the child and people had different versions of what was actually said so of course i'm I, I stand on what's right regardless of what's going on with the situation i was like why would you ever i know you didn't go public and say this i just know people misconstrued what you said once i finally got in contact with her she told me like people were harassing her job and people had been calling because they were saying that she had said something about another woman's body you guys know the commentary um about it and I, I just like that didn't sit right with me and i told her like you know you shouldn't have done that like why would you ever feel like that was okay to talk about you know another woman's personal business or your opinion in regards to a child who's already here at this point and i was like and i told you don't even say nothing because you knew like no one was calling her job saying oh you guys so britney uh, made a video defending her friend no one was calling her job saying hey Brittany made a video telling all her friends business. People were literally calling her job to get her fired off the sh only off the strength of her in that one part of the video saying she spoke on another woman's medical records. So I didn't watch the video, so I still do not know exactly what was said. Um, and like I said, when I started hearing the direction that the video went in, I asked her, I was like, Brit, please remove the video because you know that's this wasn't to me. This wasn't. This is not sounding like a defense to me. This is more so like you're just telling all of my business um so, so she removed it once we spoke a little bit later on you know i told her you know Britt, like i definitely don't feel like you had any bad intentions i definitely understand where you're coming from um with this whole entire situation and all in all like you just it, not even just with this situation just moving forward you got to be mindful of things that you say and don't say especially like people get really triggered when it comes to people's personal situations and things like the old topics like that like that's very you know insensitive for you to say something like that and i never want anybody to think that i put you up to say anything like that because i 100 percent i'm saying i did not um and you know of course she was like you know maybe i just got into it and got a little too passionate and i expressed to her i was like well you know i understand like you could have you know thought that you were defending me by telling a play-by-play -play of everything that happened but to me like Everything that I tell you as a friend and confidence is nothing that you're supposed to repeat back to the internet. But like I said, I genuinely wholeheartedly believe that it was not done to embarrass me or to hurt me. It just, just was, it was just all bad. So um, that was that. And then fast, forward, you know, once people kept telling me all day long, you know, Keisha, you need to watch out. Keisha, you need to this. Keisha, you need to that. I also even said to those very people, like, look. I understand what y'all are saying. I know y'all love me, but what do I look like being so forgiven to, you know, Jeremy for this situation, but I can't forgive my friend for making a mistake when I don't, honestly, I didn't see the video, but I don't think she meant any harm. Like, I think she just, just mis misspoke or whatever based off the things I'm hearing that she said. Like, maybe she just misspoke or whatever it may have been. So I didn't, I don't want nobody looking at it like, oh, there she goes. Like, there's another woman taking a man side, but would hang a friendship up. And I told her, when she when two days went past oh like you know people are threatening me about my job blah 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 blah, and reiterated to me like how people were threatening her and her husband and i told her look brit you can't be saying stuff like this so if i were you i would publicly apologize because at the end of the day you can't be saying things like this on your platform and then go on your instagram and say unbothered because to me to other people it looks as though like you don't care or you don't have any sympathy for what you did or what you said because like I said, I remind you, her apology was more so because of what she said about that particular person or whatever was missaid or whatever, whatever it was. That's what the apology was supposed to be about. Because at the end of the day, no one was bashing her and attacking her for saying, hey, I didn't even read her comments. So I don't really honestly know. But to my understanding, no one was bashing her. Like, how dare you tell your friend's business? It was more just like, how dare you tell, talk about another woman's um personal health stuff and, and you over here speaking about this and how dare keisha put you up to do it so that's why i was like you you should probably apologize because that's the right thing to do like that's not your place to talk about their personal business to that extent and as a friend you know i'm just a little confused about why you didn't think you know that was okay or why you thought that was okay to say it so you know i'm i'm really hurt and at that moment i just realized once again like all the stuff that had transpired um, and up until that point how I literally was continuously going through so much grief 
And that's when I decided, you know what, maybe I need to take a step back from my relationship because I'm still not healed. Now I'm going through postpartum. Now it's just it's just the cup is running run up the cup is running over. And that's why I came on here and publicly told you guys, like, look, I told you guys and I told him, like, look, I gotta like I got I can't focus on you right now. Like I don't have any Neg like I don't want to have any negative energy between us but right now I got to focus on me and you know I told my mom go ahead and go home take off for a few days I just want to be with my girls that's why you guys have literally solely just seen me with my girls I just want to focus on my girls because that's what that's the energy I'm trying to focus on right now I took a break with working my brand deals my sponsorships I said I'll get back to that when I get back to that but I just wanted to take some time to focus on that and then like I said once the apology came out it just was kind of like um, I definitely understand where Britt was coming from because at the end of the day, this was my personal situation, and that's why I want to publicly apologize because it was never my intentions for to 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 tell her or, or, or script her to say some craziness. I would never tell anyone to come tell my business, especially not this. Um, so it was never my intentions to script her. Maybe I should have followed up and said, "Hey, let me see the video or the clip of whatever you filmed in regards to the situation." Or, but we can't go back in time, so I want to go ahead and publicly apologize because had it not even had she not even got on the platform to defend me, she wouldn't even had to say what she said to make people want to call her job. So all of this was because she was truthfully just trying to defend me. So that's why I can take accountability and say, you know, I apologize. But in my heart, I just feel like I didn't think it was anything wrong with my friend coming on her platform telling people to like leave me alone. Stop bashing me regardless of what the situation is and how it went down like at the end of the day like I didn't hurt anyone because that's you know I told her that like, yes yeah, okay you don't have to you know make it seem as though um, we're kissing anybody's ass for the video but you can definitely let people know like like I didn't hurt anybody so please stop bashing me and please ultimately stop talking ill about my children because I see that and that hurts me regardless like it hurts me to my core to see over 500 something comments and a great percentage of them are talking so nasty about my children so that's just what i anticipated from my friend to go on her platform and do it went left and now we're here so i wanted to take time to sit down and apologize to my audience for the misconception of the whole ordeal um the book the sit down video all of that like i said i've taken jeremy off my channel i have taken a step back from my relationship no we don't have any animosity towards one another yes it's still the holidays the girl's birthday is next week we will have two-year-old daughters next week together like so we're i'm not sitting here trying to like put a whole wall up and say i don't ever want to see you again like we still have to parent our kids and make things look as normal as possible for them until i can figure out ultimately exactly what's going on he definitely understands and respects what happened um and my decision for that and, and that's just that i'm deeply hurt and I know the source of that hurt. I'm not blaming her. I'm not blaming Britt. I'm not blaming nobody else. I know the source of that. And I just need to take time to heal properly. And I'm just so sorry that other people who love and care about me have put themselves on the line and are now having to suffer um, with the consequences of the situation, if you know what I mean. So that's like I said, that's why I, I said I wanted to come forward and, you know, publicly apologize. Because I know if I didn't, it would just look like, you know, I, I threw Britt out to the flames and then took my tail. Despite of what was actually said in the video, because to this day I still have not seen it. She told me she saved it, so I could go see it if, you know, I, I want to. But I told her, you know, I don't, I just can't because I'm just overwhelmed. Um, I'm just too overwhelmed by all of this. And I just really want to process and heal the way that I need to um, and make the decisions that are in, in my best interest. Moving forward, I don't want to speak on this situation anymore. I don't feel like I owe anyone any explanations about it. Like I said, I do publicly apologize for my part in the book and how insensitive the sit down video was, regardless if it's still out or not, People, a lot of people saw it. So I want to apologize for how insensitive it was for us to do that video but i did learn from that and that's why i removed the video and i didn't you know keep it up I, I feel like i've been going through so much and i've been trying to stay as strong as i could possibly be while i was pregnant but like i said i don't have any um bad energy towards anybody i just feel as though ultimately speaking had certain things not happened, other things will not happen. This is all a domino effect. This is all a life learning lesson. Um, and moving forward, like I said, I want my channel 
to be back the boss mom boss vibes making moves i want to be able to open up and share blessings from my family and just different opportunities like i want this to be happy so i do plan on taking a break from youtube um after vlogmas and um, i'm gonna keep going through vlogmas and um, push it through it's only a few more days left anyways and then after that i really want to continue to take a break um so I'll, I'll update you guys at a later date of how that break will go and what's gonna entail of that break or how it's gonna look but ultimately speaking like i said i just want like i said i want to come back and apologize because this all circles back to the book and then right after that you sit down video so and those those two things were attached to my name so that's why i want to say i'm sorry in that regard and you know hopefully we can just like i said you guys can respect that we are all moving forward and at the end of the day me her and jeremy are the ones who have to deal with the situation nobody else because we all have kids together and these kids are what matter these are the priorities not nobody else so regardless of we're together we're not none of that matters because we still have kids together and i want it to be as positive as it possibly can be for them because it will be at their detriment if they can't enjoy growing up together because of some internet stuff or whatever. So that's why I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and, you know, make sure people know how apologetic I am about all this stuff that happened. And once again, reiterate, like I was pregnant. There's just no good way to say like, hey, you guys, so, you know, Jeremy actually, you know, there's just no good way to say it. And, and this is at a time in my life where I was about to bring life into the world. And I'm trying to still appease everybody else involved in this situation and do right by everybody else who hurt me. Like, everybody else hurt me, and I'm still, I was trying to still just do the best that I can and do my part. And like I said, I do apologize after this. I don't want to speak on this anymore. I've been advised several times to not, but like I said, I made an executive decision to go ahead and make this video because I know you guys are confused as hell and, and trying to get some type of understanding about it. So that's just that. And like I said, I want to just positively move forward and we'll continue back with my vlogmas content tomorrow. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.